my good brother and friend, Udakwasha Musasiwa, came by my place last night. We walked all night from my place. And just like we, when you're in university, not that I would know, I didn't go to university, but I think when you're in university, when you study through the night, you start exchanging conversation. The conversation turned to the cabinet appointed by President Emerson Nangab, E.D. In the cabinet appointed by President Mnangagwa, Kuda argued with, to me that the president was taking advantage of his authority and appointing his family into cabinet. In fact, he read me out some tweets, I guess jokes maybe, about how the president can go to a meeting and then there's the first lady who's in government and then there's the son and then there's the other son and then there's the girlfriend and then there's the other girlfriend. Whatever. Listen. First of all, as a disclaimer, I, you must actually know, hey, the first lady Auxilia Mnangab is not Grace Mugabe. Okay? Auxilia is actually really smart. I kid you not. In fact, you who's about to argue with me, she's more educated than you on paper, legit, legit. By far, she's in fact more experienced than you on paper and in practice. I would never critique Auxilia because in her own right, she is a maverick to be contended with. She really is. You gotta call a spade. But she's also the president's wife. So the issue is not about, is she capable? The issue is about, is it a conflict of interest? That's what you guys are arguing, I would assume, right? That's what you're arguing. But may I give you a walk down memory lane into history? When Bill Clinton in America was president, Hillary chaired a lot of the Senate committees multiple times on healthcare reform. Do you remember that? Do you remember when Donald Trump was president? One of his senior advisors was Ivanka Trump. Do you remember that? Do you remember when Nelson Mandela was president? That Nelson Mandela's wife was also part of senior government? Do you remember that in India, and Gandhi, I think the name was, in India, her son, Sanjay Gandhi, was heavily involved in politics and was always by the side as the advisor, do you remember the Philippines, Ferdinand Marcos? His wife, Imelda Marcos, held multiple positions toward the world as a diplomat, senior diplomat, ambassador, pen, plane, potentially. Do you remember in Egypt, Hosni Mubarak, his wife? No, in fact, it was his son, Gamal, was in senior cabinet. Do you remember? In fact, you name me a country and I'll give you a reference. Do you remember in the United States, the Kennedy brothers appointed each other into government? The issue must not be who the president appointed into cabinet. The issue must be what did he appoint them to do. Focus on what they were actually appointed into cabinet to do. The trouble with Zimbabwe, yes, especially the Patwita. I used Patwita, but no one's a mad or for them, a professor, same table, and forced them to have a conversation. So you got damn, ma, ma, falads. On the same table as really intellectual, smart, academic prowesses. The reality of the matter is President Mnangagwa made appointments that is warranted too because he's president and commander in chief. He's supposed to. You're worried about the wrong thing. You're worried about Tatenda Mavetema, Tatenda, Studio 263. Yeah, elevated yourself, girl. Well done. Whatever got you in, well done. But good words, you over words, you over words, you over words, you over words, you Manji, I'll now be